this is Ashley Curry with the Murdoch and Man Ring Company with Keller Williams Realty in Idaho Falls. And this is? I'm with Erie. Yeah, we are going to show you this house today. We're going to walk through it. This is 3710 Vision Drive in Idaho Falls. We're on like the east side of town, kind of close to Iona. This is a Calico subdivision. I'm going to go ahead and let you take a look at the outside. So this was built in 2006. One thing that I really like about this one is the, um, the brick and vinyl mix. I really like that um, for nice low maintenance. We have a really nice long driveway. I really love the floodplains, um, the flood areas in these kind of neighborhoods because it just allows for extra parking if needed. And then bonus, we have this huge, huge RV parking drive area. This is all uh, gravel all the way up to the end. So you could put a shed back there. You could put an additional you know, single car garage, RV lots and pad. lots of room, RV pad. Yeah, you could concrete it out. And it does have a double, um, it, like you can see it, it's pretty large, a double steel gate. So that sucker is not being taken down by the infamous Idaho winds. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. We have some cute gravel that's already been set up for you. This is on a 0.29 acre. You can see there's a little bit of room in the front to play. You're going to love the backyard. It's fully fenced and definitely has room for the kids to play. Okay, as we come on in, we're going to walk into our living room area. This is a main level home with a basement. We're looking at about 2,200 square feet. I know you guys don't have smell-o-vision, can you smell it, Whitney? It smells brand new. The carpet, flooring, all new flooring throughout, all new carpet throughout. Smells good, nice and fresh and clean. Smells really good in here. One thing to note before we leave the living room, uh, I love these big windows, first of all, but I love that they're the, um, that they're the pool windows. So much easier to open, lets that air out, instead of having to push them up and down and put all your muscle in. Anyway, so we walked through, this is our main level um, living room. And then we have a decent sized dining area, which gives you access to your backyard as well. Again, another awesome feature for blinds. These ones that just pull open and shut. Love those. Easy, you don't have to clean them. Oh my gosh, They're so nice. I know, they're so nice. Um, also in the kitchen, we have a galley kitchen. Um, we have um, all appliances that are included. We have a stove, we have a microwave, and we have a dishwasher. These are Naughty Alder cabinets, right? Naughty Alder, yep. Um, nice style kitchen, super fresh and clean in here. You can kind of do whatever you want with the space. And we'll take you out to the backyard in a minute. I'm gonna take you out to the garage once Jess is done showing you the, the kitchen. So we come out to the garage, we have a two, thanks Whitney. We have a two um, stall garage. One thing that's super awesome about this garage is that it is uh, insulated. Yes. And um, as well. yep, garage doors also insulated. And you can't really tell from the video, and may not be able to tell from the pictures, but we show homes all day. Whitney and I show homes all day, and we know the size of a garage for this specific layout. This is longer, guys. This is a longer garage. Most of the garages are cutting off at about here. They are a little longer, and you have space on either side of the garage. For, for instance, like they have a work table right here, this is gonna give you more room instead of having to squeeze out of your car on each side. So that's, a, that's an awesome plus. And obviously there's a door out to the backyard so that you can bring the kids in through the garage if you really want to. Let's go ahead and check out our bedrooms. So as we're walking through, we have a cute little, let me point this out too, just a little coat closet. We like those. Storage is never bad. As we're walking through, we have our first bedroom on your left, and this house is north facing. So that means you're gonna get the sun in your backyard during the day and at night, and you're gonna keep the, um, keep the snow off your driveway. And then here at the back, we have um, one of our first bedrooms, second bedroom, sorry. You just looked at the first bedroom. This one's a little larger than the one you just saw, you could definitely do a queen in here for sure with lots of room right at the end. Oh, the carpet smells so good. Big double closets with lots of build-ins. 
We love that for kids stuff, right? So you can squeeze in more. Lots of room for build-ins. Yep, tall ceilings. Love the tall yep, love the tall ceilings. So we're walking through, we have an extra storage here at the end of the hallway. And then as we come in here, we have our master. Nice size room, we can definitely fit a queen in here. We have the same style, um, same style wardrobe, closet. Wardrobe's what we say in Scotland more than closet. Oh. Still after 10, however many years, I still say wardrobe. And then you can see out to your cute backyard, which I'll take you out to. Really good size room, super clean. One thing I love about this house is that all the colors, which you'll see in the bathroom right now, this is your main level bathroom in here. And it is very long. So you can definitely fit multiple people in here. It's not a one, one bum bathroom. It's a multiple bum bathroom. Whether you choose to have a meeting in there at the same time, that's up to you. But we have uh, refinished. Um, these were sanded and stained. We have tile for low maintenance. One thing, super awesome, three mirrors, three storage areas for all your makeup and whatever you'd like. Long vanity, you could even put an extra sink in if you really wanted to. There's definitely room to do that. And then we have tile, ba uh, tile baths around. Again, low maintenance, just like the floors. Really good, this is a good size bathroom for, for those sharing on the main level. So, okay, let's go ahead and I think we'll take a quick look at the uh, downstairs first and then we'll do the backyard last. So, what do we love about the basement, Whitney? The high ceilings. We love the high ceilings. And that's coming from short people, yes. okay? <laughs> we love the high ceilings in the basement. It's not standard um, for this layout. And guess what? You have a new build in your basement. Everything down here is new. Everything in here was just finished. And I mean, they just swept. It is just finished. We have paint. We have new flooring. We have a new bathroom, which we all know bathrooms and kitchen cost a lot of money. At the back end of your huge, nice new finished living room, we have not only um, your laundry area, but a really decent amount of storage. We have your water heater and your furnace down here, but lots and lots of room if you wanted to put shelves up for storage or put a folding table or something like that, there's definitely room um, to do that. And then as we come back through, our awesome living room. I really love, this isn't just like a itty bitty egress window. I really love the big egress windows. It did so much light. Oh yeah. Yeah. Two Does people it, can get out at once. Yeah, see that's <laughs> safety people. Yeah. Whitney focuses on the safety and I like it. And then we have two more bedrooms down here. So this is a five bedroom, two bath total. Um, these are about the same size and I'll let Jess kind of uh, squeeze in and take a look. The carpet feels nice and plush, smells good. Apparently I'm obsessed with it because I've mentioned it like four times. I love the smell of new carpet. It's good stuff. Notice that the windows do have molding around them too. They're usually, they're not finished like that usually if you have, you know, if a standard finishing. So that's kind of nice having a little extra molding there. And then we have our downstairs bath. We have a huge walk-in shower. This is a new vanity. This is brand new finished. LVP flooring? LVP, yeah. LVP flooring. Again, this is 2,200 square feet, five bedroom, two bath. One thing that I really like about this year house, Wit, is they, they you, I mean, they come with gas force there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And for utilities, I mean, that's, that's, that's a godsend. Yeah, yes. utilities are awesome. Um, so all you need to do to add AC is just buy the unit, potentially plumb it, but the, the ductwork is there, so it's a lot cheaper than having to convert, you know, like electrical or having, having to add ductwork. Gas for stair, it's good stuff. So this house does have ga gas for stair, obviously, for the year. And I don't know if we talked about this, but so we talked about that we're on the east side, which means you're close to your movie theater, your Hobby Lobby, your Cabela's, Walmart, Albertsons, all the good stuff. Lots and lots of restaurants. If you're not from here, lots Costco. of restaurants. New, New Costco. Costco, hey for Costco. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're also next to this uh, house is in Thunder Ridge uh, School District. And Thunder Ridge was built three years ago. And it's a brand new high school with beautiful, I mean, 
beautiful facilities. Oh yeah. Really, really nice facilities. So your your kids could go to Thunder Ridge, and then we also have Rocky Mountain. That's well, a three minute drive. Yep. If that, and then Discovery Elementary is literally just down the street, and so you don't have to live right in front of the elementary, yeah. but you get to have your kids literally walk to school because it's right there. And I think I heard uh, Danny talking about that the school bus picks up right here. Yep. Yeah, so that's nice. So this is a huge backyard, guys. Really big backyard, lots of space. We even have an extended porch, which is awesome. Because usually they just, when they come, um, when they're new, it's just the strip, yeah. So a little extended is nice. Again, don't forget about the, you know, the gravel pit at the side that goes the clear length of it. So you could do your RV pad, your parking, your extra shed. The roof for, I mean, it's a 2006, so the roof is in, in, in great shape. Um, anyway, so if you think of any other questions uh, that we haven't answered, or if you want to take a look, because we all know what's going on with the market, right? It's going fast. If they look like this and they're new and they're moving ready and they look beautiful, be they go fast. Yeah, please call us, okay? My phone number is 208 206 2193. Give us a call. Let us know if you want to take a look and if you want any more information on it. And don't forget, Ask uh, when you call, ask about our buyer tools. Uh, buyers that are shopping on Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, those kind of websites, you're you're missing out. They're yeah. sold by the time they get on there. So please call us and let us take the stress out of stress out of the market for you. So anyway, we look forward to showing it to you and you guys have a great day. If you want to know what home sold for in your neighborhood, we can set you up on an automated email and tell you what the home sold for in your neighborhood and give you updates. If you're a buyer in today's market and you want to be in the know, give us a call and we'll help you out. If you love the idea of having someone to contact at any time, that's the benefit of a team. Give us a call, let us talk about your process and how you can have a better experience, a more satisfying experience in real estate with Murdoch Van Rain Company.